This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. So hello guys welcome back to another video of our channel and in this video we will be talking about how to start bug bounty in 2024 as we are too close to the new year the 2024 so we'll be discussing about that. But before going to that we are having few courses you guys can check all of them out beginner bug bounty batch advanced bug bounties recorded courses and many more so i have attached all the links in the description so make sure to check out all of them and let's get into the video so first of all when it's about to start bug bounties and all those stuff so a lot of people in my dm be asking like where to start how to get started into bug bounties how to achieve good bounties can we start if you are from xyz field or we need to like having some sort of background and all the stuff so for that i would like to clarify that there is a pathway like it's not specified that you have to do this 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 in the way but i have made a suggestion list of all the things that you should learn now so how will you start then so the first of us if you are from any tech background which might be development and all those stuffs if you need a development that's a big plus point in the bug bounty feed and if you don't know that that's totally okay you can start you can still start with them then we we need to just take a look on linux networks all those things so if you ask me how to start bug bounty then i will say that start with network understanding start with the understanding of how web app works how the particular things like if you're going into application pen testing learn how the application works the front end back end the correlation between them the load balancers to uh, learn about the how website work what are the uh, technologies used in them right and after that try learning about networks overall you need to learn about networking and that's a big plus point in all those things because if you know networks there are a lot of things which will be very easy for you So definitely go with networks. I have mentioned all the resources for this thing, all the resources. There is a resource dot txt in the description. So make sure you get uh, download that thing, and you will get all the resources. Then the third thing that you need to take a look on is your uh, Linux understanding. How to just use Linux, uh, the basics of it. The uh, I will say you need a clear hand on Linux. It's not like okay, you can just simply go with Linux, CD, LS, all those things. No, you need a proper understanding of linux architecture you need to you, you you are you should be able to use that perfectly okay you don't have to face any sort of errors and all those things and uh in short i can say that use as much as linux you can so you don't have to google anything be uh, uh just keep in mind that then next thing uh where are the resources where i can just uh, go and just check out or uh, read blogs and all those things so for that you are having medium twitter you can just follow a lot of channels on that even you are having youtube you are watching this video on youtube so definitely youtube is a big thing there the next thing you can go with is github repositories you will learn about basics bugs their checklist methodologies and all those things uh, there is a mistake that everyone makes don't find don't try to find or follow anyone's checklist okay you might be going on someone's checklist okay let me copy this okay that you can copy that but it is working for them it is not sure that it will work for you too so just try to create your own checklist methodologies learn as much as you can and here are two things to mention don't be burn out that don't get burn out from it a lot of people are having this issue that there will be burn out after few duplicates informational not applicable it is of the process right that's the process to get the bounties you need to have a lot of not applicable a lot of duplicates a lot of informational right you need to have these things or else you want uh, valid achievements then what are the resources then github repositories medium blogs twitter you can go with hacktrix hacktrix can help you a lot in these things because they are having a well shaped Uh, i will say a proper book of it right just a web view book of it a web view uh, 
proper path of everything you need about cyber security so definitely take a look about uh, take a look on hack tricks i'll mention a proper link here so it will be having like pen testing xyz pen testing port pen testing web, web applications then in web application you will be having pen testing xml idors bypasses and hundreds of things into them so make sure to take a look on that the next thing is labs so uh, that can be a controversial part here because in the previous podcast i have said that i don't believe in lab and i still don't believe in labs but for learning purposes you can use labs but i will say lab scenarios will never uh, you will never face lab scenarios in real life scenarios because in that condition labs are made vulnerable they are supposed to be vulnerable to teach you how to find bugs so you can understand the functionality working and workflow of a vulnerability using labs but you can't be like okay i know labs i can find on the real websites because you will never understand why you need to do specific step lab will teach you what to do at search bar but real life scenarios do uh, will tell you why you need to do xyz on search bar so definitely take a look onto that and still if you still want to go for labs i will say portugal is the best lab for web application pen testing uh, it doesn't matter which year is that it's definitely the best one for it or you can go with web goat dwwa and there are a lot of it you can just check all of them out then that is the theoretical part i was telling about that you can do this 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 to get in start into bug bounties now is the real life issues you are having because you can get resources by just a click of google right what's the real life scenarios that you will face in uh, getting or getting started into bug bounties so uh, to be specific here you will face the burnout you will face the demotivation right if you are going with bug bounties just use twitter and medium turn off your uh, instagram linkedin all those things linkedin should be useful but instagram and all those stuffs because you will see only one thing which is like i got xyz dollar of bounty from this bug and maybe you have reported that yesterday but you are not getting any bounties it's just because of their program their approach their timings all these things matters a lot so just forget about all those things keep hunting on a program right don't get burned out right just stay going keep learning a lot of people would be like you know reporting 10 bucks today and waiting for all bucks to get triages or response for it so you don't do that just just keep going on you just submit a lot of bugs wait for the response don't do that you just submit and just forgot about it there's a quote uh one of the hunters told me that if you remember what are the bugs you have reported in the last week you are doing a way less than you should do you should be doing so keep in mind Now the problems we will face in all this stuff is like as i said the duplicates and all those things so i have made already a video how to avoid all those things so make sure to check it out the link would be somewhere around this so make sure to check it out so that was the things that i was uh, willing to share about how to get started into bug bounties make sure to check out the links and resources in the description and see you guys in the next video